Welcome back into the ASUG News Studio. My name is Tom Wilk. I'm one of the site editors for ASUGnews.com, and I'm joined here by my colleague, Courtney Bjorlin. Hi. Hi. Well, we got a great lineup here. We got the guys from REI here, and uh, if you weren't with us last night, they did a uh, fabulous video showing all the great ASUG work that they do. And so we wanted to have them in the studio to talk about that. On my right is Bob Stewart. Bob, thank you for coming in, and uh, we appreciate it. And next to him, of course, is Kelly Hasty. Kelly? Welcome to the studio, appreciate it. And down at the end is Walter Fogg. Wal Walter, thanks for coming into the studio. Thank you. So guys, uh, we've got a lot to get to, but you know, for so those people, I don't know who they would be who don't know what REI is and what you guys do. What makes it such a special place? I'll start with you, Bob. What, what makes it such a special place to, to shop and work and, and do all that fun stuff with? Well, REI uh, is a co-op, a retail co-op, if you will, owned by its members. It's been around for 75 years this year. And so it has this, this very long history of just trying to, pr to, pr to provide a very cool shopping experience, always trying to provide the equipment and clothing that, that you need to truly be an outdoor recreational nut. That's and so it's just a little bit different that way that, with that very special focus. Besides maybe a member discount, Kelly, what is it, <laughs> what's so great about working there you know, for, for REI? Um, I, it's a... Uh, Sorry. The uh, uh, thing that I find really interesting about working there is that not everybody that works at REI is a mountain climber mm -hmm. or a, a bike racer. There's a lot of diverse backgrounds that mm -hmm. work at REI, but we have a common passion, and that's encouraging people to get outdoors yep. and enjoy nature and share in our green spaces and uh, be good stewards of the environment. And it's just really unique to work in an environment where everybody shares that common purpose. Right. It's awesome. Maybe I'll start with you, Walter. Uh, how about your job? Maybe you can each go through and tell us a sure. little bit about your roles and then you know, your involvement with ASUG, and then we'll dive into some of the questions. Yeah. Sounds great. Um, my official title role, I'm the SAP Service Del Delivery Manager uh, at REI, um, and I'm really responsible for the real technical areas around the SAP footprint. Um, so the technical teams, the basis team, um, release management, um, making sure the lights are on and everything is stable. Um, working with some of the larger projects uh, to increase our SAP footprint mm -hmm. um, and just make sure that the daily operations are, are going really well. And it's a, it's a really challenging job and a lot of fun. You get to do all the fun stuff. Yeah, right? all the fun right. stuff. <laughs> Play with all the fun toys. <laughs> How about you, Kelly? Uh, so I'm, I work in merchandising, uh, systems and technology manager, and my team supports legacy merchandising tools. We do process improvement, uh, support business intelligence, uh, and uh, we inform the systems and technology roadmap for merchandising. Okay, great. So I am the SAP release manager, and I'm also in, I'm involved quite a bit in just overall IT change process um, and process improvements across the enterprise, actually, for IT. Okay, great. So REI has a very big SAP footprint. Kelly, can you talk to us a little bit about the value uh, SAP has brought to the business? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I think one of the most obvious things is, is that it allowed us to retire some troublesome legacy tools and those troublesome interfaces that come along with it. It also, it, it, it's building a base for our, our discipline and systems and we're able to really capitalize on that and, and, and build process improvement and efficiency and effectiveness. Yep. The other thing is that l looking at our, our growth over the next few years, it's really important that we have a stable platform. We were in really before SAP, not a good, a good position for that growth. And now that we've impl implemented yep. SAP, there's a lot of confidence that we're going to be prepared for the, those next steps. Great. Definitely. And you know, Bob, in your role, what, is, what do you support with the SAP systems? So I really support the planning across all the systems, the coordination of the uh, release of, of changes into production. And so I coordinate with, at this point, about across 20 different systems to try to make sure that the, the timing and the kind of system usage and all that uh, is, is just aligned well. And so I also am somewhat responsible as a, like a landscape manager, if you will, okay. in which I'm on Walter's team with, with the technical team. So I work directly with <coughs> Basis and other technical folks to do that. Great. Kelly, um, you know, as being on the, the side you are with the kind of the business, you know, that's not always, ASUG is kind of more the technical and some, we're trying to fix that, but I think that's, mm. um, but you get value from them participating. Can you talk just a little bit about what they're able to bring? Does that help the collaboration between the business and IT? And have you, have you seen that play out? you know, in everyday work. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, a small example really was just when, as we were preparing to come to the show, uh, we were having a meeting and Bob's like, hey, what, what are you looking to solve when you go to, to the conference? And I was like, well, this, 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 and this. And he's just like within 10 seconds, he rattles off three connections that he's made at ASUG that as, as I meet with those people, I'm realizing how valuable that is to really create that connection super fast. I could have struggled around this floor for a long time trying to meet the right people and develop those relationships, but Bob was really able to kick that off quickly. Good job, Bob, we appreciate <laughs> that. It helps. So talk to us about that. You know, I mean, Bob, you're the chair of the Pacific Northwest chapter. I'm, I'm, I'm the program chair. The program, program chair, chair of the yes. Pacific Northwest chapter. Talk to us about the value uh, of, the, of your ASUG membership. So for me personally, it is, I believe, just one of the most amazing <coughs> informal, uh, you know, re recurring throughout the year development methods for just learning how other people do what they do with the SAP systems, especially seeing how other businesses succeed. Um, for overall the Pacific Northwest, um, it's just made for a very good, cohesive group all around from Seattle through the Portland area where we all know who each other is, and we have a pretty stable base up there. And so it's, it's very cool to be able to go back and see the same people, usually at least once a year, know how they're doing, how the company is doing, and, and just hear some of the trends, some of the things to avoid, obviously. Yeah. But especially connectivity, it gives much better sense of comfort knowing you're not in this alone, and actually, I mean, for me, it's one of the more dangerous things is if you, if you are alone. So not being alone right. is just much better uh, chance of success at what we do. Walter, what, what about you? What do you get from participating? I mean, that's a great yeah. chapter out there. We've heard so many good things about it. Oh yeah, I mean, first of all, the air, our area is, is just so diverse with technology and emerging technologies. So just being in that area is great. But what I love about ASUG is it kind of, it, it brings it all together, if you will. It's kind of one-stop shopping for a lot of the companies that you would like to have access to, to, sh to collaborate, share ideas, what Bob was alluding to, what works, what doesn't work, mm -hmm. and, and to have it kind of come together and just be there for you, it, it's so easy. And then the spirit of the forum, when you go, the collaboration points, that's what, that's what I value the most. Right. You know, the sessions are great and everything, but I'll give one example. Um, you know, we were looking to update Solution Manager to the latest, greatest version of Solution Manager, and you know, we were just starting in our journey and things were going really well. But to sit down and uh, talk to some other companies that had tried some different things and done it different ways, and I could share what worked for me. We actually uh, had a forum that just kind of just happened, and uh, there was great interaction with the audience, and uh, there was a lot of great takeaways. I took it back to my team, and, and uh, it, it was awesome. So. There's a real good sense of give and take. That's what I yeah. always hear. It's not like, you know, you're in there looking for free consulting. In a, in a sense, you're, you know, you'll it, get that, but right. you also have to give. Yeah, yeah exactly. The, the free yeah, consulting piece is amazing. Um, and I just another example was at Tech Ed, where it's almost like a a, a flash mob, mm -hmm. where all the release managers. There was just an email went around right before the the meeting, and hey, let's just meet, and so someone offered up their suite, and we had an hour and a half release manager meeting, and just to know and hear how other people, the challenges they're facing, based on kind of what size of company they are, and how complex things are, how much change there is, that is, that's valuable, and people pay a lot for that consulting information, and reality is, I mean, well, you're getting reality. That's, that's the great thing. You're getting absolute reality right there. And that sort of thing happens all the time for many ASA groups and industries, mm. and it's just, it's a great way to encapsulate the value. Mm. So going forward, Walter, what do you think? How can ASA continue to meet your needs? How do you yeah. see the organization evolving? Um, I think being, continue to being pioneers about um, using the greater ASUG community to kind of understand um, you know, where SAP is going, maybe some new, new areas like social media and things like that. So a lot of times I'll look to ASUG to see you know, kind of what's trending and, and, and what's working. What are the new things that are happening that I might not even find specifically if I go to SAP's website or I type in my friend Google. You know? um, <laughs> so what I'm looking for is like uh, you know, um, mobility, social media type things, and, and, and also what, what I mentioned earlier about ASUG, that collaboration, when I look more towards with social media is that community aspect of ASUG, being able to share ideas, not just with your chapter, but maybe collaboratively online. I know you do some of those things, but I would really look forward uh, to doing more of that mm -hmm. in real-time collaboration. And that's yeah. where you could get Kelly in as well. You know, I bring in yeah. the business the, the business yeah. side too, so they can have access when on demand, kind of when you need to be there. Absolutely. Yeah. Would that be yeah. something that would be? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, I 
I've kind of looked at Ace Hug from, from a distance through these guys' eyes and, and kind of wondered where do I fit into that. And you know, I really think there is a space for the business to, to be able to get in there and, and, and seeing the value that they've gotten from it. If we can, if we can extend that out to the businesses, that's going to be incredibly powerful. Great. Absolutely, and so I, j just a comment I was thinking of last night with uh, Bridget's keynote, and to see the Skype comment, uh, mm -hmm. that was the comment that we've been talking about this this year with our chapter, is just how do we try to make the content available to, to even more people? And we have technology, and I, so I see ASA kind of becoming the, the plumbing that you know the information just flows through and, and trying to connect that plumbing a lot more in the coming year or so. And so I'm looking forward to that because then we can offer Maybe we just connect some, some merchandising managers from some retail companies that just can't geographically connect typically. Mm -hmm. I, I, I look forward to that. Yeah, our board chairman, Mike Stoko, talks about that as being, we sort of have to evolve to be the network of networks, you know? Mm -hmm. oh, that's cool. Um, yeah. Which I think is a good way to, uh, to put it. But speaking of evolution, in years past, and for many years now, we've presented um, outstanding member companies with something called the Impact Award um, that you may be familiar with. And because ASUG has evolved and because our members have evolved from simply a go live perspective, we put the stuff in, it works, and you know that's what the award was based on. We need something more, so we've evolved the award uh, to become the Infinity Award, really given to companies who, who leverage the power of big ideas and the power of ASUG to really create this incredible value and vision for their own companies. And I'm very pleased to announce that REI is the first recipient of wow, the Infinity wow. Award. Amazing. Oh, wow, yeah. that's, awesome. that's awesome. So we're going to give it to wow. Bob. <laughs> Wow, thank you And very you guys much. can all fight over it. You know? Yes. No. Guys, that wow. is amazing. Yeah. Shirt. Nice. Yeah. Right. Doesn't yeah. it nice. look Infinity-esque? It yes. does. Very nice. <laughs> wow, thank wow, you. Thank but you we're just so much. grateful for all the work honored. that you have yeah. put into this organization and you really do make it the wonderful place it is for so many, so many members and, and so helpful to so many customers. And we can't thank you enough for that. Thank wow. you what very much. Surprise. This is <laughs> This is a very Great. nice gift. Well, thanks for coming in, guys. Well, yeah. See you on the show floor. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for tuning in to ASUG News. Check back later for more interviews from ASUG Annual Conference and Sapphire Now. And thank you for watching.